see, this is where we left off. Mm -hmm. Before what the doorbell rang. Nice compact. Excellent condition. That needs to be cleaned off. But it's very pretty. We have a few watches. There's one with a black face, gold uh, links, and rhinestones. I imagine those are rhinestones. This is a George watch. Very pretty and excellent condition. It is. Just in case inquiry minds want to know. Turn it the right way here. It's about seven and a half inches. This one is seven inches. And this one is eight inches. So this is the largest, longest one, eight inches. Here's the back. No name. It's in excellent condition, the metal. It's gold tone. And then this one is silver tone with a silver tone dial. Again, there's no name. Little rhinestones or CZs, one or the other. Very pretty. Fold over clasp. Again, in excellent condition. We have a bracelet that's stationed with rhinestones at a prong set. It's got a fold over clasp. There's no name on it. It's very pretty. Let's see. No, I can't get it on, but anyway, that's the way it looks. Very pretty. Is it magnetic? Well, all that stuff is. I'm about to sling it in my eyeball. The clasp is. The links aren't. I imagine, though, that they're copper-based. Or either this is... Um, stainless. Stainless. No copper-based. Nowhere, though. It's in excellent condition. Very pretty. We have this one. Missing a stone right here. It um, probably needs to be restrung. It's a pretty one. And we didn't find it, did we? Mm -mm. Nope. It's all the beads and stuff we found. Okay, so that's going in the hobby. These are the, all the things we found. Like I said, that's going in the hobby lot. have this little Avon porcelain pansy pen. And this is vintage, I know, because I sold it back when I was selling Avon a long time ago when my children were small. American Games, the Olympics 2002. A shoe clip. A cross choir. Put the Avon porcelain in them separate. Mm -hmm. um, here's a V, the flag, beautiful leaf pen. Another cross, angel pen. A heart tack pen, it doesn't have its back. Looks like it's got stuff written on it. Oh, Avon. Well, Avon tack pen. Here's a D. Hmm. Here's a pretty ring pen. 
looks older. What is that? What are those called? Cornucopias? Mm hmm Cornucopias? Pretty little stones there, too. Let's see if that's magnetic. Yep, it is. Here's another tack pen that's a ladybug. The little red rhinestones. It's also got something written on the back. I can't, it looks like it's Avon, but I'm not sure. Let me loop it. Yes, Avon. That's another Avon tack pen. I'm sorry, honey. We have um, the Armor of God with Joshua's verse on there. Here's a porcelain ring. It's in great condition. Very different. It's artisan made. I can go separate. Leave these here a minute. This is a beautiful rose painted on this piece here. I don't know if that's stone or what. It's pretty cold. Could be a piece of porcelain though too. Very cool. Do I have a necklace? Of course not. Not yet. This one go good on one of these chains. I'll do it for you. Okay. I think it needs a jump ring though. Get this out of the picture. We have this little pendant. There's the back. Now I might have a chain for it. Perfect chain. Looks like there's a little red bead, bead in here stuck in there. You see it? Yeah, this is a perfect chain for this one. go. Very cute. There's the back. Ah, let's see what else I have. Here's some charms. That's a little Snoopy. Did you want it this long? Yeah, that's fine, honey. Okay. Let's see what this says on the back. United Features, Aviva ROC. Here's another little charm. It's a bell with a cross. No, this is not a charm. This is a pendant. This is probably silver. And these may be little diamonds <coughs> in here, too. Guess I'll be checking it. Yeah, it's rubbing silver. You want to test it and I'll go check the stone. Sure. Okay. This little pendant is silver, but the little stones in here are just little CZs. I thought they might be diamond, but they're not. So on all four sides. So that needs a silver chain. We don't have one right now. Okay. Here's a pretty little crystal heart. It's a gold tone chain. We don't have one thin enough. Nope. Here's a little charm or either a pendant 
or a piece of a pendant. I can't tell what it says. Friend. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. I'm going to test it first, though. Where is my... Oh, there it is. Oh. That's it's not... Ah, uh, yeah, this is... Test it, honey. While he's testing, I'll keep showing. This looks like it's a piece of an earring. Or it could be a pendant. Yeah, I think so, mm -hmm. don't you? Yep. Here's a beautiful heart. It's a gold chain. And I still don't have one. It's Mother of Pearl with that beautiful red flower. There's the back. Love this. Just checking it. See if there's any marks. Nope. Put these two hearts together. This is a... And this too. Those all need a chain. Happy Mother's Day. It looks like it might be sterling. Let's see what it says on the back. Yes, it's sterling. And this one also is a pendant. Very beautiful. And I need to test those stones, so I'll be right back. Okay, those are CZs. It's very pretty pendant. It could go with those other pendants you just put up. I'm sorry. And this one too, honey. No, I'm going to put this one in the Hobby Lot. Hobby Lot. And these two are little charms. can go in a different one. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is one of those belly button things, I think. It's just going the wrong way. Is that for an Indy or an Audi? I don't know. Ugh. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Here's a pretty ring with some rhinestones. Flower band type. It is a stretchy. It doesn't stretch a lot, but it's got give. It's in great condition. And it is a size. Five. Goes up to about a seven. Just let it fall on the thing is what you're supposed to do. Falls at a five and a quarter. And it can go up to a seven. This one goes to an eight and a quarter. It's got little rhinestones. Very tiny all the way around. I guess they're the rhinestones. I don't know. They could be diamonds. Who knows? I didn't test them. And they're opened. What size ring was that you said? An eight and a quarter. Okay, and it's marked C H A M and the 925 China. So I'm going to test these real quick. Okay, those are CZs. This is really a neat little stacking ring, though, or to be worn alone, a very uh, delicate. Here's a little tie, um, stick pin. 
That's either, that looks like a very milky colored opal stone there. It is cold. I don't have any way to test it except to look at it and I can see fire in it using the loop. Typical of what you're going to see in um, an opal. So it's definitely an opal. But the fire's not going to show up here at all. But that definitely is an opal. And I don't know what it's framed in. I don't see any marks. Let's see if that's a magnetic. Nope. So we're going to test it. Here's my line. Test it for 10 carat. Still there. I'm going to test it with 14 carat. I'm sure it's going to disappear right away. Yes, it did. Just like I said it would. Just don't know why it's not marked somewhere. Let me look on the stick pen of it. Strange, I keep getting mail here at the house. It's addressed to me, but different addresses. So I don't know. I know, it's addressed to somebody else with our address. Sorry about that. So I don't know who it belongs to. And it's UPS, and I haven't been able to catch them to give it back to them. That's what I like about the post office. I can just say return to sender. Okay. No, I don't see any of the marks on this. Let me do a, one more testing. Because I thought it was testing rubbing silver. Although it did test out 10 carat. Let's just do the silver and see what happens. Oh yeah, there's silver. Definitely silver. So I don't think it was 10 carat. I think this is silver setting. Maybe with silver or 10 or gold over silver. Because it didn't completely disappear. It toned down some, but it didn't disappear. So I'm gonna say this is silver. Because I definitely tested silver. And this is definitely an opal. I have no qualms about that. If you look at it under loop, you'll see it's an opal. Here's two more t um, tack pens. One says BN. I don't know if that's for Bible Network. And the other one is ETS, 1 Peter, first chapter 3, verse 15. And this has writing on the back. National Custom Insignia Made in China. 
this one. The begin has on the back of it Terry Berry 24 karat gold plated. So this one's 24 karat gold plated. This one does not mention a plate. Oh, he locked himself out. Hold on a minute. We have a rhinestone brooch, like a ribbon. It is marked. I can't read that. Can you guys? Napier. Beautiful. Very pretty. All the rhinestones are there. This is a Napier. Wow, this was either glass or fat pearl, one or the other. I think it's glass. Very heavy. Hear that? Rhinestone, this is a pendant. I have two keychains. I love Las Vegas. And you're number one with us. Bobby Huffman Fence. Wagner, South Carolina. Hobby Lot. Oh, no, no, okay. Not Hobby Lot. Never mind. Curiosity Lot. Here is. It's got a heart clasp. It's got CN on it. NC, North Carolina. Oh, NC. <laughs> NC, North Carolina. Tar Heels. Tar Heels. It's their colors. Yeah, I know. Very cute. Very good condition. Keep calm and carry on. And these are... I don't know if they're Labradorite or something else. I just don't know what they are. Maybe they're amethyst because they are purplish in color. Very pretty. Definitely stone. So very cute. We have some charm bracelets and an infinity bracelet here. It's a pretty small wrist one. This one's a charm bracelet with an apple and number one teacher and a glass bead. And this one has an anchor and it's a brushed gold and it is marked Spartina, Spartina, which is a very good high-end brand. Very pretty. Oh, I didn't see this. Here's another little charm with a D. Beautiful gold tone. It's magnetic. What else do we have here? We have this little cuff bracelet here with some design on it. Not magnetic. It is marked something right here, I think, sterling. I'll have to loop that. Yes, that's sterling. So we have a little ster sterling cuff that just needs to be straightened out. Well, that's a little better. Here's a cross, um, copper and silver tone with the serenity prayer on it. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. 
Here's a stretchy. Needs to be cleaned off. It is stretched out. It's very pretty though. Very pretty panels there. It needs to be restrung. So I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot. It needs to be cleaned up too. This is going in the hobby lot. Here's a fold over bracelet. It's got rhinestones on the center links here. The rest are polished. Let's see, do we have any markings? I see something on that, on the clasp. Clasp says China. It's not magnetic. It's copper based. There's no copper showing at the moment. Last pearls, beautiful colors of green, acrylic, more pearls with little charms and beads, some more glass beads with a charm on it, sand dollar, some more beads, acrylic beads. We have this stretchy that's stretched out. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. It's in good shape except for the stringing of it. And then here's this one. Glass or crystal. Good shape. Just put that in the okay. thing. We have... This stretchy going in the hobby. This one's going in the hobby. These two. There's nothing wrong with the pink one. Is that 95? Yeah. Okay. It's got a stone in it too. Here's AGM. A little, uh, Nicely done. Gunmetal initial bracelet. We'll put that in the hobby lot. Fine, man. I don't know any AGMs, do you? Mm hmm. Somebody might want to cover that. Okay. We have these button vintage earrings. Here's the back, so you need cleaning. There's the front, pretty color, golden color. Here's some post earrings, white cabochons framed in gold. Here is some clip backs, beautiful green color and gold design. Here's the back. Very good condition. Just need a little bit of cleaning. These feel like glass. They're cold. Amber looking in color. A root beer color. Here's some medallions. Pretty floral design. On French wires, here's the backs. They're stamped in metal, lightweight, so they won't pull and pull on the ears. Very cute, pretty colors. Here is some more vintage. It was terrible. Ugh. Yeah, see, it's just. It's, I don't even think I can get them off right now. They're chipping off. Yeah, I need to clean them. You see when you leave them on like that, see the vertigree starting there? The green right here. He got it out with pliers. Just um, bag them and give them back to me to clean. 
So annoying. Yeah, I know. It's pretty stiff. Here's some clip with beads. Pretty sparkly one here on the bottom. Those feel cold like crystals, but these on the inside here are acrylic. Okay. Here's some post earrings rope design. Knotted. I don't see any marks. In good condition. Here's some more post earrings with glass beads and silver tone. Pretty green color. Here's some more old clip-ons. These are Baribi. It's a good brand. These are dried out. Ugh. That one came off. And this one's not come off. Coming off now. That's so gross when they let them stay on that long. But these are marked. And they kind of look copperish. Let's see. Yeah, they're copper. These are well made copper earrings. They need cleaning. This should clean up fairly nicely. Not sure what it's made of. Almost looks like it has a wood grain there. See that? Very interesting. There's some more clip backs. Somebody cleaned out their clip, clip backs. These off. They're in pretty good condition, but I don't trust them not to cause problems, so we will take them off. Pretty rhinestone, beautiful gold metal. Here's some red, white, and blue hoops. In good shape. Here's some more clips with a earring cuff stuck on there. We're gonna put that in the hobby lot. These are marked. They're Sarah Coventry. They need cleaning. Little cameos. Here's some post. Gold tone. Little door knockers. Here's the backs. They're in good shape. I don't have any issues going on here. Okay, we're good. Some hoop earrings. Crisscrossed. They do have some wear on them. Our tarnishing. clean up if they clean up any. This is the one I'm going to clean up. Right here. Oh, 
and they're two-tone too and yes they're cleaning up quite nicely there you go so they're just tarnished check this one yep just tarnished so I am looking for marks I am going to give them a rub. No, they're copper based, but they will clean up. So very pretty. Gold tone and silver tone. Next are these little floral earrings. They look like they could be silver or gold. They have diamond cutting in the center. They have a gold and a silver color. They also have a mark on the back, which I can't read. Right there in the center. All right, I'm going to have to loop it. It says 14 carat Fourteen carat I'm going to test them They feel like they're 14 carat And I want to make sure I'm going to go straight to the 14 carat that's 18. Here's the 14. This is where I rubbed it. Get out the bubble. More bubble. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And it's still there, so they're definitely 14 carat. Yay! Awesome. Cute, too. Little floral mm -hmm. design. Mm -hmm. You've done these? Yes. Okay. Here's some more clip backs. Very ornate. They are clovers. Whoa. Sorry about that. Very cute. Don't see any markings. I'm looking on the inside here. Oh. There you go. And we have these. Very thin. And the wires are tarnished or either discolored one or the other this one's missing a leaf they're not magnetic oh I see copper so they're gold over copper there's no writing on here. No writing. We're going to put these in the hobby lot because of the petal that's missing on the underside on that one. See, it should be like that and it's missing. I don't know what this is. Looks like some kind of clip. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Oh. This could have gone in with the beads. I'm going to just put it in there. Loose. Oh, there's the bead. So I'm going to put that with the beads. I'm going to put this wooden piece here with it. And this dial goes to a watch. I'm going to put that in there. All going in the hobby lot. Those are the ones you proclaimed. 
clean the clean lot. Okay, what do we else we have? We have some single post earrings. Nothing um, fabulous, but this one. This one is fabulous. Come on. The cut on that's really nice. I need to look at that closer. I might go test this. See if I see any writing on it. Oh no, it says CZ, it's to Corey. CZ925, so yeah, this is a good earring. Hope I get a match. Hope I eventually find a match to that one. That's a Takori. And this one here is also 925. It's marked right there. And it looks like a stone. To me, it kind of looks like a peridot. Kind of green. It's hard to tell, though. I'd have to test it. And just shove the tray. Oh, wait, we got all this. Yeah, shove all this over. We have this magnetic clasp corded bracelet. Needs cleaning. I'm going to put that in the hobby. This is going in hobby. This is a pretty one. It's going to stay. It's, gonna, it's up to sell by itself. It's a beautiful copperish color. And the beads on that are beautiful. This is going in the hobby. This is a little Christmas pin. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. We're going to put this in the garbage lot. We're going to put this in the hobby lot. Here's a needlepoint piece. We'll put that in the hobby lot. And a Christmas wreath pin. And a watch band. I found this interesting. And I'm going to try to see if I can't connect this somehow. It's got a medallion on it that has an R. That's marked Mexico. So I'm not sure what it is. It might be brass. Not magnetic. It looks like brass. I'm, I will put some tin carat just to see what happens. Just love the way this stuff squirts out. And it's disappearing. Yep, it disappeared. So it's brass, not gold. Here's a little pearl on a string. I'm going to take the string off, put the pearl in with the beads. Where are you wanting to do this? Um, I'm going to put that in to fix it. Okay. I want to do something with it. Uh, this is going in the hobby lot. This is going in the garbage lot. It's too dirty. Garbage lot. Garbage lot. What kind of tooth is that? One well, that goes in the garbage lot. Looks like a shark's tooth. No. Uh, a fang. Here's a little heart. Oh, it's a zipper bracelet. That's cute. Let's see how does that go? It's not going. It's going in the hobby lot. Ireland. Look at the Irish. It's going in the hobby lot. Garbage. A chain. That's broken, but it's got a lobster claw in there you can use. It's not broken. I don't know what that is. And that's a button. I'll keep the button for the Hobby Lot. Okay. And my Hobby Lot's full. I don't have my ball stuff. Let's see what I can do. 
I got another one up here I can put some in. That was Hobby, right? Uh, or was it? It looks so good we can't tell. I think it's Hobby Lot. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got the charm yeah. things on the bottom. So yeah, it needs some of this stuff. We've got two Hobby Lots to build. Yeah. Two Hobby Lots to get listed. Yeah, was four. And a bunch of bangles. So this, did all this come out of this one jewelry jar? Mm hmm Two on them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's why I don't sell the jars, because some are really good and some aren't so good. But this had 14 carat in it, yep. so. Aluminum. Separating between medium and large. I'll let you determine what size. Just so you get used to it. Or not. Aluminum. Is that aluminum? Sure feels like it. 